right. Another thing I'd like to discuss with you is the float serve. So, um, I'm standing on the downwind side, and I'm standing at the corner that is blowing towards the most. This, for me, is my favorite place to serve from um, when I'm playing a game because I get, the, I get the most opportunity to make the ball move around and float. Okay, um, so I'll show you what the technique for a float serve is, all right? So, um, for a right-handed player, I'll put my back to you in a second. For a left-handed player, you can mirror what I'm doing here. All right, so the foot on the side that the tossing arm is on. So for a right-handed player, it's the left foot. It's going to be slightly forward. Okay, and the tossing arm is aligned in front of your serving shoulder. And the idea is to toss the ball straight up and out in front of you. So it looks like this, very straight up and out in front, and not super high. My idea is going to be to step through and put all my power behind that toss. Okay, so I want to work hard, and I can do this in my bedroom at night, just tossing and getting my hand ready to serve super fast. And notice it's in the same place ready as where we were hitting. The only difference is going to be we're not going to snap. We're going to stop high with a big wide palm, and we're going to push through with your core to make that ball float. When we stop and we use our core, that's when the ball really gets a lot of float to it. Okay, so um, we're going to toss and get that hitting palm ready. The most important thing next is that we're going to take a step as we toss with that left foot. And I'm moving away to make sure you can see it. My left foot is starting slightly out. I'm going to toss and step forward at the same time. Okay, toss and step forward. So then, after my toss and my step forward, I'm going to let my right foot drag in and crunch here at my stomach, leaving my palm high. Okay? So I go like this, boom, with all my core strength right there. All right? So if you wanted to mirror what I'm doing and you're right-handed, it looks like this. Tossing arm in front of the serving shoulder. Left foot is slightly forward. We toss straight up and we get that serving arm ready early, okay? We don't want to draw the, sitting arm, the serving arm back like this. That's not a ready hand, okay? We want to draw back hand ready and reaching back as far as we can get. So we have all that power. It's like a big high five right through the ball, okay? All right, let's put this behind and do some serving. All right, so this is what it looks like to serve high and deep into the corner and let the serve catch the wind. If you go high floaty in the corner on one serve, maybe you can go short on the next serve. So one thing you can try to do is face angle, but then serve line, or face line, but then serve angle. Or you can stand dead center and serve dead center. In nearly every beach game, we have uh, an upwind and a downwind side of the court. 
So it's important to kind of take note before the game begins as to whether or not the wind is blowing at your face or at your back. If it's completely diagonal, that's important to note too. Um, that oftentimes happens um, out here in California where we get that diagonal wind, but usually it's slightly diagonal this way or slightly diagonal this way. And that's important to note before you, um, while you're warming up and before you begin a match. If it's blowing hard and the wind is coming at your back, be sure to take note of the fact that it's going to take the ball further than you think. So take a little something off it on this side. If this team is serving and the wind is blowing towards them, it's a good time to think about serving high and deep over the heads of the other team and letting the wind do its job catching the ball and making it move and very difficult to pass. You can also drop short balls into the wind while serving towards the wind with the wind at your face. 